In this lesson, we're going to look at how to do outstanding balance by using the future value method. You are also able to do outstanding balance using the present value method. So if you prefer that method, then I wouldn't waste your time watching this. It's going to confuse you. Rather choose a method and stick with that one. In this question, we have a person who takes out a loan of 100,000 Rand and that needs to be repaid. Question A says, determine the monthly payment. Okay, so when you take out a loan from the bank, when do you get the money? Well, you get it instantly. You get it in the present. So we use the present value formula. And question A is fairly straightforward. There's no little, there's no catches over there. So the present value that you have is 100,000 Rand. We don't know what the monthly payment is. That's what we're trying to calculate. And then the interest rate is 16% compounded monthly. And the number of payments is just going to be a normal 5 times 12, which is 60. Then to solve this, there's many ways you could do it. But one way is to put all of this on the calculator, but then don't round off. That's going to be 41.12170626x. And then you could get x alone by just saying 100,000 divided by answer on your calculator. So x would be 2,431.81 if you round to two decimal places. Now we are going to work out the balance outstanding. Guys, do you know what balance outstanding means? It's in the word. It's the balance. So it's well, let's ignore that for now, but it's outstanding. So it's it's how much money do you still owe the bank? So if you are using the future value method, which is what this lesson, this video is all about, then you need to do two things. Number one, you need to see how much does the 100,000 Rand become? So what does the loan value become. Okay? And for that, you're just going to use the normal grade 11 formula. So that'll tell us how much does the 100,000 Rand become. Because remember, the loan amount increases when you walk out the bank. Like let's say you walk out the bank and you don't make any payments to your loan. Well, the bank is going to penalize you and that 100,000 Rand is going to grow. And that's using this formula. Number two, we need to see how much are our monthly payments becoming. So remember, you're paying this back to the bank every month. And so we need to see what those payments are going to become. What does monthly payments become? And for that, you use the future value formula. Hence the name future value method. So let's go do number one. So what does the loan become? So that's easy. We're just using the normal grade 11 formula. But now we only want to do it for two years. So that's going to be 2 times 12, which is 24. And that will give us a value of 137,421 Rand and 88 cents. So that is what the loan would be worth if you never made any payments. You would walk to the bank after two years and the person at the bank would be like, hey, you haven't been paying. Well, guess what, sir? Look at how much your loan is now worth. You now owe us 137,000 Rand. 421 rand and 88 cents. Okay, so guys, don't be that person one day. Okay, so that's number one done. Now, number two, we have been good citizens and we have been making our monthly payments. And so let's see what those would become. A lot of students say to me, Kevin, can't we just multiply this by 24? No, we don't do that. So the reason is, is when you pay money back to the bank, the interest uh, or the bank sort of rewards you and it's a whole complicated thing actually. All I want you to know is that you don't want to say 2431.81 times 24. It's better than that. The bank will reward you for making your payments and so you can almost think of them giving you interest on top of your monthly payments. That is why we rather use the future value formula because the future value formula has interest built into it. And so we're going to use the future value formula. And so we already have our monthly payment from earlier, which was 2431.81. That's our X value. And then the interest is just 0 0.16. Now, how many months have we been paying for? Well, it's two years. That's 24. If you were using the present value method, which I've got in another video, you wouldn't use 24. You would actually use 36. Okay, because the present value looks at how many payments do you still have to make. And so we can work this out, and that gives us 68,252 Rand 
and 18 cents. So this is how much you have paid back to the bank. If you are interested, if we did simply multiply this by 24, just this value, it would give you roughly 58,000 Rand, somewhere around there. But the bank tells you, hey, you've actually paid us 68,000 Rand. It's because the bank rewards you when you pay them back. It's a bit more technical than that, but you can think of it that, that for now. Okay, guys, so think about this. Your loan at the bank, if you never made any payments, would have gone up to this. But you've already paid back the bank this much. So we can simply minus those two values to see what is still left over. Something else I want to mention is a lot of students ask me, they're like, Kevin, shouldn't we, shouldn't we see how much the loan would have become after the five years? No, you do it after the two years. You always want to do it, you always want these two things to match. This is two years and this is two years. Okay, so let's minus those two values. And that's going to give us 69,169 Rand and 70 cents. If you also watched my present value video, we got a very similar answer, but the decimal, the cents was 94 cents. Now that's just because of the two different methods and it's also rounding off and things like that. So do not worry about that. You will be marked correctly. So now I hope that by watching this lesson, you understand how to do the future value method for balance outstanding.